Hello and welcome to the first video in the Become a Blogger series. My name is Leslie Samuel and in this video I'm going to talk about why you should use WordPress. Inside this video I'm first going to answer the question what is a blog? Then I'm going to talk about the benefits of a blog, the two types of blogs and lastly I'm going to talk about why you need WordPress. By the end of this video you'll have a very good understanding of what a blog is and what WordPress can do for you. So let's get right into it. A blog is similar to a regular website. However, it is unique in that it lists articles in a chronological order with the newest article at the top. There are a number of benefits to having a blog. The first is that it's very easy to update. In the past, with static websites, if you needed to make a change to your website, you would have to contact a website designer or a developer or a coder or someone that knows HTML, PHP or many of the other complicated languages. Because it's easy to update, it's easy for you to add new content to it and that makes it easier to get people to come back to your site. Another great benefit of having a blog is that it promotes interaction. When you post an article to your site, it allows your website visitors to leave comments and this goes a very long way in helping you to establish relationships with your website visitors. When you take these three factors and put them together, a blog is great for establishing authority and growing a strong following. Whether your agenda is personal, political, or to grow a business, establishing authority can go a long way to helping you grow your online presence. Now that we've looked at the benefits of a blog, there's another question that follows and that is what type of blog should I have? There are two main types of blogs. First we have the externally hosted blogs and this is where someone else hosts your blog for you. Now most of these systems are free and very easy to set up and some of the most notable examples of externally hosted blogs are blogger.com and wordpress.com. They're very easy to set up very easy to get going and very easy to work with. And then we have self-hosted blogs and these are where you host your own content on your own hosting account and you put your blog on your own server. And with a self-hosted blog you get to have your own domain name. Now if you're serious about blogging I highly recommend for you to stay away from externally hosted blogs and there are a number of reasons for that. The first reason is that with an externally hosted blog, you do not own your domain name and you do not own your content. Your content is owned by the company that owns that service. For example, blogger.com is owned by Google. And if you have a blog on blogger.com and Google decides to switch it off, they can do that without giving you any notice. I've known of a few people that have built successful businesses around blogger.com and other externally hosted blogs only to have them turned off from one day to the next and lose a significant amount of income. This is one of the main reasons why I do not recommend for you to have an externally hosted blog, especially if you're going to be doing this in a professional way. Another reason is when you have your own self-hosted blog, you have many more options. And this will become much clearer to you as we go through the rest of this training. From here on out, I will be only talking about self-hosted blogs. And with that said, let's talk about why you need WordPress. WordPress is a content management system. It allows you to easily manage the content that you are adding to your site and it has a number of powerful features that we're going to talk about as we go through this training. Now it is very important for you to understand that when I talk about WordPress, I am talking about WordPress.org and not WordPress.com. WordPress.com is the externally hosted version of WordPress. WordPress.org is the version that you can install on your own server, on your own hosting account. And one of the main reasons why you need WordPress is that you don't have to be an expert to start and grow a successful blog. It's easy to install, it's easy to use, easy to customize, and easy to modify. However, just because you see all these easies does not mean that it's not an extremely powerful 
piece of software. There is a lot that you can do with WordPress to grow a very successful blog and that is what I'm going to be showing you in the rest of these videos. So in review, I've answered the question, what is a blog? I've spoken about the benefits of a blog and the two types of blogs. And lastly, I told you why you need WordPress. In the rest of these videos, you can expect to learn everything you need to know to start your own self-hosted WordPress.org blog. From Yaro, Gideon, and myself, here's to your blogging success. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. If you're enjoying these videos and you're ready to take your blogging to a totally new level, you'll simply love our premium blogging videos. As a premium member, you'll learn how to make your blog stand out from the crowd by applying a series of easy tweaks known as our X Factor strategies, how to boost traffic to your blog using a unique set of social media tricks and tools, how to capture the attention of your followers so they stick around and tell all their friends about you, helping you get even more traffic and much, much more. Trust me. To see what other videos you can get access to, simply go to becomeablogger.com slash upgrade and follow our easy steps. This is Leslie Samuel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.